Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to explain how to make this aura boy charm. It's so shiny and kind of looks like it's made of glass. Of course, it can be used as a nail charm, and you can also use it for decorating items other than nails. I'm also going to introduce a little trick in the end of the video, so I hope you enjoy it till the end. So, let's get started. At first, I'm going to introduce the materials you need for making this aura ball. The main material is this aura film sheet. You can find it online or nail supply store. Next, you will also need clear gel. I recommend choosing the one that has a thick texture. In order to assemble the aura films, you will need glue gel. Please also prepare your favorite color gel nail polish if you would like to add some color to the charm. This time I'm going to use clear blue gel. This is optional, but this time I'm going to use this white sculpture gel for decoration. Also, if you have these kind of small parts for decoration, they'll add a cute impression. Lastly, you are going to need no wipe top coat gel for coating. At first, we are going to make ball parts using the Ola seed. This seed comes with many different pre-cut shapes, and we are going to use this long oval shape for making the ball parts. Remove the oval film from the seed using tweezers. We are going to need two pieces, so remove another one from the seed. Next, we are going to make one of the ball parts using no wipe top coat gel. Apply small amount of no wipe top coat gel on one side of the Ola film. Then, fold the film into half and attach the both sides together by pinching them with tweezers. Once you have folded the film into half like this, cure it in the LED lamp and secure the shape. Once it's cured, the both sides of the film is attached like this. Fold the other film into half and attach in the same way, and now we are ready to assemble them. If you try to use it as a nail charm, I recommend assembling them on the nail tip wrapped with a piece of aluminium foil. Wrap a piece of aluminium foil around the nail tip like this, then set it on the nail tip stand. At first, apply a small amount of glue gel on the nail tip. Then, Put the all the ball parts you've just created on it. Adjust the placement a little bit, and once you are happy with the ball shape, cure it in the LED lamp. Just like that, you can make this symmetrical ball shape easily. Next, we are going to make the ball solid using clear gel. I recommend using an old brush if you have one, because this process might damage your brush a little bit. Take some clear gel with the brush and fill it in the gap between the films. If you add too much gel at one time, the bubbles will get into the gel and it will ruin the beautiful look of the charm. So please add clear gel little by little. Turn around the charm and keep adding the clear gel from the other side as well.
Take a look from above and check if the film is filled with clear gel. There is still some space, so I'm going to keep adding more clear gel. Once the film is fully filled with clear gel like this, cure it in the LED lamp. Once it's cured, add clear gel into the other side of the film in the same way. Let me fast forward because I'm going to repeat the same process with the other side. Once it's completely cured, it becomes hard enough to use as a nail charm like this. Next, let's add color to the charm using gel nail polish. This time I'm going to use Shine Unicorn Collection from Lily Gel. It's such a cute clear blue color with fine rainbow glitters. Apply a thin layer of the gel on the blue charm. This overall film is just cute as it is. But by applying clear blue gel, it can cover up the orange shine of the film, and the charm will look like it's made of glass. So, if you're trying to increase the clarity of the charm, I recommend applying clear blue gel nail polish. Since it's magnetic gel, I'm going to use a magnet and increase the shine of the charm. It's hard to see on the screen, but the glitters are coming to the surface and will look so shiny. Once it's cured, it looks like this. You can see the glitters sparkling depending on the angle you look from and it looks so pretty. Lastly, we are going to give the charm a little decoration using sculpture gel. It's luminous sculpture gel, so it glows in the dark. Take a small amount of the sculpture gel using a plastic stick, then roll it into a small bowl. By the way, I recommend covering your fingers with tape when you touch sculpture gel to prevent allergy. Once you made a small bowl of sculpture gel, put it in the center of the charm using a silicone stick and flatten it down. Then, also decorate it with a metal charm and a rhinestone. Make sure you are happy with the placement, then cure it in the LED lamp. In case you want to keep it as a charm instead of using it right away, give it a coating with no wipe top coat gel. I recommend applying just a thin layer at this time because you are going to apply no wipe top coat gel again anyways when you use it for your nails. Apply no wipe top coat gel on the sides as well because they are clear gel. Once you cured it in the LED lamp, you can remove it from the nail tip. Just like that, the cute aura boy charm is done. 
By using the all of films, you can make this symmetrical bow shape easily. It looks so cute on short nails as well like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you give this aura bow charm a try. I'm going to tell you a little trick as a bonus. This aura seed set comes with three different colors. But to be honest, I don't really use the red or green seed. And I kind of wish that they sell only blue seed, and I think that some of you might feel the same. If you feel so, please wet a piece of kitchen paper with ethanol and wipe the back of the seed gently. Here you are! You can turn the green seat into the blue one. This technique also works with the red one, so please give it a try if you find it useful.